as we're putting the world to rights, let's just wind up by talking about the whip. Now, you've been a long advocate of disqualification if you first. go over the top. I think I was Yes, I think you were. Um, do you... I mean, is there anything that's changed your mind no, since then, no? absolutely not. And the... Um, and if, if my rule, or if that rule was... The rule we have, if it was in force, we would never have to talk about the whip rule ever again. And you think that behaviour would change just like instantly, that? Instantly, instantly. Introduce it on the 1st of January, disqualify one at Southall on the 7th of January, <laughs> uh, outcry in the papers for four days, never ever again will it happen. OK. And when a big race is on and we want to see a race like we did at Ascot, the most fantastic race, uh, when a big race is on, we will know the rules won't be broken. Even less will they be broken on a big day. Now the rules are yeah, broken only on a big day and not on the little day. So your argument essentially is, I mean, you, I suppose you, you might acknowledge that if you look at VAR, um, yeah. what's happened in football, yeah. that it could have a, a knock-on effect to betting, which I think would be unwelcome for everybody. Yeah. But I think, is, I might correct me if I'm wrong, your argument is it would only happen once, so you wouldn't actually have to worry about that aspect of it. And if you've got it. the rule, you've got to enforce it. You can't have what we have at the moment, which is an optional rule. Mm. If you're rich enough to take the fine, you break the rule. Mm. That must be mad. No other sport. Forward. And and people say, oh well, you know, uh, if he wanted to get the horse beaten, he'd go over the wit rule or whatever. I mean, completely ludicrous. All he's got to do is not weigh in. <laughs> I mean, <you> know, <laughs> I mean if, if the fellow doesn't weigh in, he, he loses the race. Um, I just can't see how you can have a rule which is optional. Um, so mine is just, mine is just, and to make it fair, if I was the jockey, I would want to know what my opponent can do in a close finish. I want to know exactly what he can do. I don't want to be coerced into breaking the rule myself, because he is. So if I was a jockey, I'd be mad on the rule. And no fines, no bans, no nothing. Just many congratulations, you've lost the race. Won't happen. In the big race... The, the big owners will say, going out onto the course, they will say, whatever you do, don't go and hit this horse however many times. The silver bullet theory never, doesn't often work, but, you know, you're making it sound very, very attractive. It's very simple. It's so simple that no, it seems to be a large number of people can't get what is so simple and, and, and I think, painless. I suppose and, it's and this argument, we won't ever talk about the whip rule again. I suppose it's the doubt the about whether it would actually work. Well, you know, we have jockeys saying, oh, I lost count of the number. You know, would it actually end? That, I suppose that's my doubt about it, because I, I think if it didn't end, then we've got a world of pain. I really don't want to employ someone who can't count up to seven. <laughs> and, and, and also, um, I've, I've found whenever bills are presented to me, all jockeys are meticulous in being able to add and subtract. So I, I don't think it will happen. I think they're thoroughly good professionals. What we were talking before, they'll go up to the, up to the limit. Mm -hmm. And they're, you know, they're fan fantastic teams of jockeys we've got now look at those big races they, they they know what they're doing and we can leave it to them but while they can be blackmailed into breaking the rules they will they will have to do so that's part of their trade well for a man who was hiding from me and didn't want to talk this has been fascinating to listen to, to, to you no, no it's been lovely it's been lovely it's great to catch up with you great to see you best of luck with thank Timoshenko and best of luck this evening at Sandown as well thank you very much thank, thank you. you very kind thank you